e -rev. Applied directly to the forehead. e -rev. Applied directly to the forehead. e -rev is not responsible for any monitor to related injuries. Do at your own risk. Hello everybody and welcome to E-Rev TV where tonight we're going to be casting for the first time the inaugural opening of Future Tech Gaming League. This is going to be an exhibition match here on MP Strike between Powerhouse Gaming and Frag Dominant. I'm your host tonight, Anger, and co-casting with me in the shotgun seat will be my man Starbuck. Good evening, Starbuck. How's it going, buddy? Pretty good, Anger. How are you? I'm glad to be playing Strike. You know, getting out of the pits of the um, so-called uh, not top-tier uh, caliber maps and getting into Strike and starting off uh, strong here with two amazing teams, Frag D and, of course, PHG. Yeah, before we get into the uh, particulars on each team, uh, we're definitely like to welcome in Dark. He is uh, Future Tech's COD4 uh, main admin. Hello, Dark. How you doing tonight, buddy? I'm doing pretty good. How you doing? I'm doing excellent, thank you. And tonight, throughout the match, we'll be talking with Dark, and he'll be talking a lot about uh, Future Tech and what Future Tech is going to be offering to you, the uh, community, not just for COD 4, but for all round gaming. So uh, we'll talk a little bit more with him during the match and get some more details on FGL. But right now, we're going to talk about the two teams. Oh, wait. I digress. I cannot forget the video man. The man. The myth. The legend, Limey. Hello, Limey. Hello, guys. How's it going? Another league. Perfect. I love more action. COD4 action. Bring it on. This is going to be great. Uh, make sure to drop by their website that I'm going to split up right there. It looks pretty damn good if you ask me. And I've already registered with the forums, but I wasn't lucky and I didn't get into those initial prizes they were giving out. But, uh, hey, register anyway. It seems like a very nice site and a very nice league to join all right well hot off the press uh, Starbuck before we get to the map gladiator joins PHG and what a uh, top caliber uh, player that you're gonna get on powerhouse is it Christmas time in uh, March that's what I want to know oh it definitely is anger um, PHG already a very very good team and of course with the pickup of gladiator getting even even better so it's gonna be a great match gonna see how Gladiator Gladiator plays here. Uh, I think this is his second match with PHG, actually. Yep, and you can head on over to uh, to IRC at pound e dash rev on the game search or QNet network, and my man just add water will take your shoutouts live over the air once we get a little break in the action. But right now, 
We're going to take a look at Powerhouse Gaming. They're taking the Op 4 side here, and they will be defending. And on the starting lineup for PHG, we have Apostle, the man we were just talking about, Gladiator. We have my man Grim, Improv, and looks like Twist is going to be in here for the starting lineup. And for the Marine side, Frag Dominant, we have the man uh, BT, A Rock, uh, CME, and uh, we, we have my man, and I can't pronounce this. People get on me about this Sphinx. I say Sphinx, but it's Sphinx. I'll say it that one <laughs> time good there. <laughs> As I'm butchering that name, but it's all good. He told me it's all good. So right now we're starting off here, and we have uh, three members of PHG going up against all five members of Frag D here at Starbucks. So I'm not sure which side you're looking at first, but why don't you tell us what you're seeing, buddy? All right, now I'm going to look at Apostle here, PHG. He is in the cafe. C someone run by him. He gets shot at from BT, and Fraggy right now is pushing into the A bomb site. Grim, nice scope shot into CM, and then just TT into Spinks. Right now, 2 1 2 situation. You got Frag D, BT, and the A bomb site. He's got the M4 in hand right by the, uh, his teammate, actually. So they're really close together. TM gets a nice shot on TT. The only player up now is Grimstead. Do you know where he is at right now? Yeah, I'm looking at him right now. He's up in top B right now, scoping it up. So he's going to be trying to take out. Uh, looks like the man, and it's going to be a 1v1 situation. So a table for two here set up between these two players. So right now there's about 25 seconds left for uh, the man here to get the plant down. But he takes out Grim there with a nice MP5 shot there. So they take an early 1-0 lead here on MP Strike. So like always, we will have War Room coverage and also uh, instant replay like we always do. So uh, you get those good things here like always. And uh, we're going to take a look here at Frag Dominant here. They, they had all five members alive here pretty much uh, midway to three quarters into the uh, first round here. So as I'm looking here, we have A Rock, CME, and I'm trying to look here. It looks like uh, BT here. It might be Buns. I'm not sure exactly which one it is, but they're trying to get into A Cafe while A Rock is in Garage here and, and Improv trying to move from the uh, PHG side coming midway here. And, and Gladiator hanging out at Statue. So that is pretty much the roster rundown for these two teams right now. Apostle hanging out also in A here near the palm tree, uh, near the I like to call the water trough. People call the water fountains. So uh, the action taking place here thus far. Now, Dark, you know, with the league here, uh, what is the format that you guys obviously going to do 5v5? Anything different in the rule settings that you're going to do? Have you guys set that out already? Uh, we've already said we're going to use a standard rule. Rule set between Cal Saba. We're using the uh, their standard rule set for that. It'll be five v five, as like you said. And our first map for week one will be Crash. So that'll give people that going into week eight a chance to practice and get ready for the playoffs for Cal. Yep, another uh, great alternate uh, alternative here to uh, get practicing and get ready for the uh, playoffs for the other leagues. But uh, FGO coming out of the gates here and actually a good thing here they're actually aligning their map with the uh, other league so that's going to be great there so they're off to a good start and right now Apostle now getting off to a good start here they take out Frag D so one to one right now uh, in between for these two teams so right now we're going to head over to some war room coverage here uh, let's head over to powerhouse gaming line and let's see what they're doing there for you dog like from up top they smoke me I can't see shit Smoke the shit out of mid. Yo, they're netting B. I'm, I'm playing past. Alright. They're netting A and B. I'm playing in the hey, car. Hit one at the car. Somebody's jumping. Tagged up at the fucking car. Dog, I'm watching the B entrance. Where are you? Are you watching B entrance? Alright, I'll watch street side. Hey, wait, you wanna play kitchen? Yeah. Who, me or you? Yeah, Come on, guys, he's, he's low. He's B. He's not in B. I told you I was playing passive. Ah, I can't see it. Oh, shit. Yeah. They smoked kitchen. He they smoked say. kitchen out. Okay, okay, okay. I guess they six times. Might have been the lead. They're flashing. One's front A. Kitchen. One's front A. This crop. He's, he he went to the left. The oh, peen. There's two, there's two. Left and right peen. Oh, dude, he's under you, Rob. He's under you. Going B he's alley. Not, he's going down. Down B. Two guys. Street and fucking B alley. That's who it is. Coming towards you from dumpsters. Oh, oh nice. Don't, yep. Guy by me. Flash. Are going to butcher? Oh. Rob ran away to butcher. Where's he at? NB. He was in B alley. Front A. He's front fucking A. So. Like there? Yeah, yeah he's in the side now. 
You see oh, you just have to jump it on penis. Yep. Can I hear it? There's a gun there. <gasps> oh, <laughs> oh my god. Nigga got a clip right there, dog. Alright, back to live action here, and Grim gets his defuse here, puts his team up ahead 2-1 to one right now, uh, so Powerhouse gets the uh, early lead as we head to the fourth round here. So I'm going to take a look at Powerhouse and off the push. Again, on the, the uh, defensive side here, so uh, the way it looks, we have Twista and Grim heading over to the B area, just hanging out there, and while Apostle, Gladiator, and Improv are heading over to A, looks like Improv is going to hit the mid area. And as for Frag D, Starbuck, what are they looking like uh, on the offensive? Right now, they've got a 3-2 push. Make that a 2-2 push because one of them did get taken down 2 to A, 2 to B. Um, right now, uh, we have Frag. Uh, CME is in the cafe with an M4. He's going really slowly, and he needs to because uh, PHG does have the bomb on lockdown. Gladiator and Apostle. Apostle, there he goes into BT. He's got on lockdown in the smoke. Apostle now shooting at the guy in cafe, but Gladiator gets a shot into Sphinx. 3 on 2 now. Apostle gets taken. Fire at, but he sees somebody behind the palm tree, gets in a better position, he gets shot by CM, and let's see what happens here, two on two, TM all the way push up to the B-bomb site, and he is all by himself, as Grim is one on one him right now with a skull, pulls out the, st pulls out the deagle, but doesn't wow. get the shot there, now they know where he's at, TM does put the real bomb down, he gets taken out through the package, nice try there, one three, in favor for PHG. Did you just say package? Wow. Three to package. one now. <laughs> <laughs> Gladiator get, get <laughs> taking out the rest of the uh, frag D there. And no, I'm not I'm not gonna go there. Never mind. I was, but never mind. Alright, we I'm have Grim and Pop taking off here. <laughs> Alright, here so it looks like uh PH just pretty much the same strat here. And Dark uh, um I know people, players love money, they love prizes. Anything that uh, FGL is doing here off the uh, first season for uh, for their community? Uh, wait, we are doing prizes for the first season for Call of Duty 4. I do not I cannot confirm when it's going to be announced, but it'll be announced very, very soon. Uh, we are working on a very prize uh, for both open and invite for Call of Duty 4, so we can give each teams that are pro and amateur a chance to win something. Awesome. Now, I was curious about this too, Dark. Now, I know that you guys have a European uh, side of this uh, league also. Is there any talks possibly maybe trying to maybe get like a, a great eight tournament where you have the four from Europe going up against the four NA teams? Uh, anything of that nature? That's in discussion uh, in light right now, but it depends on the success of the first season, but that is very possible. Yep. We always love to see that. We always like to see what the... Uh, players over there across the pond can do against the NA players. I know there's always a lot of chatter uh, between the uh, communities there, so it would be aw awesome to get those uh, those two continents uh, lined up there and uh, fighting there. So, but uh, right now I'm looking at, it looks like uh, Twister are pretty much hanging out at the uh, connector here near the uh, plant, plant shop here. Improv getting taken out by the man with the MP5 and the man doing some uh, nice work here. About 23 seconds here for A-Rock to get this down here. He's at bomb site A and he looks to do that right now and he does so 55 seconds here for a PhD to do something here we have Grim and Twister here Grim taking out the man there with the M4 so it's gonna be right now 2v2 Starbuck and your opinion can they do this here we have Grim and Twister going up against BT and A-Rock possible and there it is <laughs> TT into uh, looks like BT so right now it's a one on two A-Rock in probably the best spot he can be in if he's a good shot behind the water. He's got about 28 seconds to go. 
Grim with the scope pushing up now. M4 style TT is looking at him right there. He knows where he's at. So does Grim. A Rock gets the shot though right now. Grim pushing up on him. Can he get him or not? That's the question. One on one. 15 seconds left. Grim is walling him. Doesn't get him. He's got a scope. He cannot switch weapons. Needs to reload. He's got 10. He's got 9, and he's not going to be able to do this. I don't think so. And there he goes. He does get the kill. And he's going to have to run away. Good job there by A Rock. It was a one on two, and he did clutch that round. So. Congratulations. Yeah, so right now it's three to two as Fragdy's trying to make a, well, trying to get back into this here. They're not too far down. So right now we're going to head on over to Frag Dominant's uh, war room here, and I'm going to tell you it's colorful in there. You, if you guys know these people, uh, well, we'll let you decide. Let's go there now. When we cross to go to the bomb site, like you know, I'll take myself yeah. to that. One pushed up, um, closet. Yep, he's at the clo dead. car. He's dead. He's dead. Hey, dumpsters again. Can someone smoke the cross? Yeah. They're, they're not even in yeah. A site, guys. Cross the smoke, I'm dead. He's on that jump, the flower jump again. There they come, they're at the dumpster. Good job, Sphinxies. Good job, Sphinxies. Closet. Good job, Sphinxies. Good job, Sphinxies. Good job, you big chin fucking faggots. <laughs> <laughs> You're a nigger. I can't believe you're a bitch. Oh, Lord. Right, back now Lord. Lord. Right, it's all tied up now. Three to three as we head into the seventh here. The seventh round. And uh, again, we do not. <laughs> I don't know if Frag D was real colorful or not. But uh, I'm going to. I'm happy to say probably yes. Uh, those are good guys. But uh, these guys are comical. Anyway, we head into the seventh round here. And Starbuck, anything. Uh, anything odd that you're seeing here? Pretty much status quo between these two teams and the strats, I would say. Absolutely, status quo. Um, three to three, doing the you know the strats that you'd expect them to do. Um, three A, A two B, sometimes four A one B. It's you know very similar to what we've been seeing on this map. Uh, nothing really new. I mean, I wasn't expecting anything new to be you know to be uh, broken out here. So, but they're doing a good job. They're hitting the shots. Um, Spinks, their last round. I don't know if you saw or not. He got four kills pushing. Uh, he was in greenhouse. Got four kills that time. He got taken out. But um, everything's looking good right now. Yeah, I, I would, you know, I didn't think they would get too crazy, but I, I wouldn't be surprised to see something new, even though it's an exhibition match, you know. You, you just never know what a team's going to do. It, it's not going to count on a record, but then again, you you are being cast, and you do want to look good. And right now, PHG really is on a on a cold streak, you know, and other leagues are, you know, won't, you know, in Cal, they're doing really well, and in Sevo, they're just stinking up the joint. And I, I think it's just a lot of bad breaks, you know, that they're catching right now. So hopefully with the addition of Gladiator, uh, they could possibly, with a, that type of player, can probably clean those little things up and really get those little things in their favor and possibly try to turn their season around. So they're going to have a, definitely a fresh beginning here at Future Tech. So, you know, just like other teams going 0-0. Oh oh, but you know, they could work those things out, Starbuck, and uh, possibly, again, turn it around and see what happens. Yeah, definitely. I totally agree. And Dark, I want to ask you uh, one thing about the league. Um, how do you determine if a team is going to be moved into open or into the uh, invite division? Uh, it, first, it'll be the uh, CEVO, PM, Cal main teams that get priority first, uh, they're getting the pro. But after that, we'll look, they look based on record and how they're doing in Cal and other leagues to determine how they were. And then season two, after in season two, after we get the entire season done, we'll be placing teams in those three divisions: open, main, and all stars. Which would be all stars would be top sixteen teams. All right, sounds good to me. And right now, there's Spinks once again clutching it into Gladiator four to four. Right now, um, you know, this is a defensive side of map about eight four or seven five, depending. So PHG doesn't need to pick it up a little bit here. Um, they're not really pushing it to A because right now I'm seeing that. Frag D are doing an excellent job with their spam nades into A, and there's Spinks and going B. He's locking down the cross. So, what do you see on the offensive side, Anger? Well, right now they they are pushing into it. Actually, we have BT just at the statue 
catch already, really pushing aggressively. Then he takes out Apostle there. So nice job. So he has to see, actually can get this plant down very quick because I don't see any other members from Powerhouse in the vicinity at all. And they're really lackadaisical. And BT does get the plant down here. He has backup from CME at the statue behind the sandbags. And we also have a sighting here from the man. Take us a shots on improv right now so we have three frag d members in bombsite a and right now let's uh line make, let's take a look at grimster here he is uh, hanging out here at uh trying to get into the uh, a site right now just kind of hang out by the palm trees he has the scope so, so he's going to have a tough task here trying to get into a so it's going to be grimster all by himself up and i don't think he's going to get this done he does take out sphinx there and he just gets rolled there by the man there with the mp5 so uh, five to four now. Frag D actually uh, taking the lead here. Wow. They're actually turning the tables a little bit here as uh, they're going to get a five four lead. So right now we're going to head on over to Powerhouse's Gaming's War Room. Let's head there now. So they rush yeah, in off the pool start. The they're already in. We need nades. So delay their nade. Delay your nades. I know. I'm just, I am. I'm One already. Bro, He's you in. fucking needed two. Our front end. That's the B guy. Bomb sight. Front of the road. And front pin. Got him. Got the guy in front street. One's an A. Planning. I need a gun. This is Sean. I'm gonna. Don't let him go behind you guys. That'd be. I'm crossing. He's Penis. Up at the fucking left. Like he's at left side. There he is. And the there there guy you. right side. Right side. Right. Over right there, right. Rob. Right side of the bomb is in to your immediate right when you go. I see him turn right, to the right. On. I got a fucking flash, dude. He's in there. It's flash. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's on the inside though. Yeah, I think he's on the inside too. Oh. Good job. Oh wow. See, like right I, if I tell you guys, I'm not lying. Okay. Hey Sean, I like fucking need. There. Your nade didn't oh. even fucking make it across. Sorry, you rushed in the middle of the street. I was stopping them. I always uh -huh. better win this fuck. All right, we're back now. Five to five as Powerhouse ties it up. So a uh, nice job there. And again, I can't say enough of how well these two teams are playing here. And even though again it's an exhibition match, they're just doing an outstanding job and very entertaining thus far, Starbuck. Yeah, it sure is. A very close match here. Uh, five to five. Couldn't ask for more. As right now, I'm going to follow the frag the off and see what they're doing. And once again, doing a 3 2 split. Uh, make that a 4 1. Sphinx is the only guy now going into B uh, with an M4. It's still a 5 on 5 as lots of nades are being thrown here. Lots of smokes as well. Um, Apostle is going to try to push up to the garage, see if he can pick the A cross for the uh, PHG side. As there he is, the man taking out Twista with an MP5. He's pushing right up to Plant House, I believe. And Apostle is still in the spot as they're not really moving up uh, very fast now. Uh, PHG does have the bomb sides locked down as uh, TM does take out Eagles Improv there. So four on fours right now. Sphinx are make that five on three. Sphinx now sees someone in the B bomb site. He's going to fall back a little bit. And a little battle going on here between Sphinx. He's got the 74U in hand now and the M4 as well. And he gets taken out there. There he is. Apostle was looking the right way. BT into Gladiator. Apostle into TM. Two on three now. What do you you see there on your side, that anger. Well, right now I'm just looking at the A bomb site right now as uh, Frag D gets the uh, plant down. Seeing me at the bomb site, and he has backup here at the statue from A Rock. So right now we have those two members at the A guarding that bomb here, and they're going to be going up against Grim. Grim seems like the only, always the last one standing as he gets taken out by the M4 there by A Rock. So six to five here, back and forth action, just like a heavyweight fight here. Punches just being exchanged here. Uh, between these two teams. Now, one of the things, Dark, I know that people are in IRC talking about a little bit about the league and, and what league we're talking about. If you if you guys head on over to www.fgleague.com, you can get more information, get your team signed up, and since Dark is the main card for for admin for FGL, how how uh, what's the other way of getting a hold of you? Uh, you can get me on Xfire at BF. B Darkstorm, or uh, you can always hit me on a pound FG League dot cod four, or uh, pound FG League uh, in the RC channel on Game Search. All right, here, smoke being deployed around the statue here. Uh, CME is holding that off, and it looks like we're going to get the 
plant down from BT, but uh, actually he, he doesn't get it down. So right now, just they're pretty much holding up. We have Apostle in mid-street area uh, making his way into the A site. So he's going to get some uh, fight here. And he takes, oh, nice shot there. Taking out BT. Oh, but he gets right there by the man with the MP5. So right now we have the man going up against Grim, Twister, and Improv. So he's going to have a tough task here. Uh, trying to get this done. So he's heading on over to the uh, connector here. Uh, trying to head into the, uh, looks like the flower shop. So uh, they're, they're adjusting the strats over here. Looks like he's adjusting here, Starbuck. And he's again, he's going to have a tough task. This Grim with the scope is hanging out by the B site. Uh, improv hanging out at the, looks like the hit streets area. And Twista hanging out in the connector by the dumpsters here. And he's uh, in a one-on-one -on -one firefight right now with the man. So with that 74 going up against the MP5. Right now, Twista just keeps on shooting him, and he doesn't die. He's a beast with the uh, Deagle out. He, he gets totally flashed, and there it is. Twista does take him down, and that's it. Halftime, 6-6 six to six right now. Yeah, I guess he's uh, shooting some rubber bullets there because, I mean, my goodness, he just kept shooting and shooting, and <laughs> freaking the man just not, could not go down. Jeez. All right, well, let's take a little recap here, Starbuck. Uh, pretty much, as you were saying earlier, nothing really too surprising. Nothing really outrageous on the strats. Uh, teams pretty much doing what they normally do on this type of map. Um, anything uh, for you, Starbuck, that you've seen? Uh, nothing really. Like I said, it's 6-6. Six to six. Uh, You know, PHG did a good job on defense. Uh, not quite hitting the status quo there of the 8-4 to four that you would like to do. But as long as they can get the first couple rounds here, it'll be crucial. Um, get that momentum going right off the start because right now if, uh, if Frag D does get the first two rounds and you're down on the harder side it's very difficult to get back in the game so this round right now is crucial I'm going to follow them right now PHG as they're pushing up see what they're doing here you've got Improv holding back the M16 uh, out in his hand Apostle going B with a scope and he gets taken out nice nade by TM pineapples overgrown there it is Apostle into TM Right now, early three on four. Check two on four as Gladiator takes down BT. They're doing exactly what they need to do right now. Two on four in favor for the PHG side. Where are the last two at from Frag Domager? Right now, they are in the A site right now. I'm, I'm just totally looking at A Rock here at the sandbags, at the statue right now. He's going to get pickled here by Grimster. Oh, but Improv takes him out there, shoots him in the back. And uh, he takes him out, so Grimster and Improv have control of the A site. And it looks like Grim is going to be the man. Uh, putting down the plant here, and he does. So right now, now it's going to be hard for Speaks to get something done. As I'm looking at him here, he's at the towards B building, in between B and A right now, trying to pop on top of the palm trees here, see what he can see here. But he's going to have a tough one here, going up against Grim, Gladiator, and Improv. So my bet is he probably will not get this done. But then again, I've seen crazier things, Starbuck. Yeah, I mean, it's very unlikely. But if I want to have one person... In this game, clutching a one on three, uh, I pick Sphinx. Uh, undoubtedly, he's an amazing player. So 20 seconds left. I don't, I don't know if he's that amazing to be honest, Anger, because right now he's not doing much. Gets a kill though on Improv. Nice shot there. Gets a kill on Grimsta. I take it all back, Anger. Ooh. Excuse me. And there it is, Gladiator to Sphinx. Almost had it. This kid is unbelievable. So nice try there by Spinks and six seven for PHG. Yeah, seven six. We we saw him in the past, you know, as a scope, and that guy he's an amazing scope there, Starbuck. And I know we were taking notice on that the last time we casted his team, and uh, you know his scoping abilities or scoping skills are just amazing. Yeah, I mean, you know, you put a virtual uh, gun into his hand, doesn't matter what gun, and he's gonna rock with it. So you know, MP5 scope. What have you? It doesn't matter to Spinks. Just give it him, give him a gun, give him bullets, and he'll do the job. So right now, PHG is going to be down a man. A gladiator. What's Fragdom doing over there here? Yeah, right now we have seen me moving into mid areas. Right now, uh, Spinks just holding off at the A side on the outside portion near the palm tree. Uh, we have looks like Spinks getting into the set nade right now. We have BT uh, hanging out near the statue area. So right now they pretty much have A on lock there. Imp Improv does take out CME from top A, uh, so nice shot by Improv there, as uh, CME was just peeking out just a little too much, uh, the man taking out Apostle, so we have the man BT and A-Rock going up against Improv, Twister and Grimster just gets taken out there, along with Improv there, the man and BT doing a, a nice job there, and Twister gets taken out there, so that will end that round, so 7-7 seven to seven 
everything being locked up, a very good matchup here in this exhibition uh, uh, for Future Tech Gaming League. So right now we're going to head on over to uh, Fragdom's vent once again here. Let's head there now. You live so far. I'm going to get to Stone Mountain and think you're the mountain. <laughs> Scope's going, no, it's an RPD. The RPD is going to be. Fuck! Bottom. Oh. Guys, I'm so generic. I'm gonna need help here. I'm just sort of hiding. Me. Jumped over in front A. Oh, how did he know I was there? Look at that. He's cheating. 100%. No doubt in my mind. Oh my god. Lag spike. You're chilling right here, dog. Let's move into. Why would they pick that kid up? He can't fucking aim. Flash out! You're playing front A. <laughs> we faked the bomb, you retards. He's just chilling in the front, you know That guy's still for Yeah, both. Yeah, going for the ninja views. Here it goes, folks. Could he do it? Again! Oh, oh failure! Oh. And it's sooner! What are you doing? Very close there. Uh, Eight to yeah. seven right now. Yeah. PHG, again, back and forth action, Starbuck. I can't say enough how well these two teams are playing. Yeah, they're doing a great job. And, you know, <laughs> the man there having about, what, one second left on the defuse. It was a one on three. He just held it. PHG was nowhere near at first, and then they just kind of rushed in and got him with the Eagles. So good job there, but PHG recognizing that it was indeed a real defuse. Right now, they got another three, three on two split going. They got Improv, they've got Twista, and they've got Gladiator going to the A bomb site. Uh, actually, they're going to stack A here. One's going to go top, one's going to go bottom. Peak in the mid courtyard. Uh, as right now, we do have Frag D set up in A. Uh, one is in the back, and one is in the front. So they got a good setup here in the A bomb site. Uh, not much happening right now. Everyone's staying really, really far back. Um, Apostle <laughs> with the RPD, uh, the gun of choice here apparently for him. Uh, sneaking up to the B bomb site here really slowly. He's making his way there. Yeah, what do you just see, Anger? Like we called a little bit earlier, you give a scope to Spinks. He's going to light up the board as he did last round. And uh, he has that right now. So he's going to be going up against... Uh, ooh, he gets taken out there by Apostle. Apostle, nice job there as he uh, got the flank on Sphinx, so uh, they're moving into B site right now. We have Apostle here. Oh, Gladiator taking out the man there, so we have Apostle moving into uh, bottom B building here. While Twister's trying to give him some backup, so they got, they have fragged them in, the, in a, a bad situation here. A nice crossfire, and right now we have A-Rock by himself here at the water fountain here, and he's going to get pretty much rolled here, but, and he does by Improv, so nice shot there. They pretty much had him in a crossfire, and there's really nothing. Thing he can do to get out of that nine to seven right now in the favor of powerhouse gaming yeah right now frag D does need to answer back um, you know they're on the easier side they should be getting these rounds and they're not so I'm gonna go follow them see what's happening here on their defense it looks like they've got three guys going straight into B and two guys right into A so once again nothing out of the ordinary but they're not actually going into A wow no one actually going into A um, Let's see here, we've got CM, he's going right to the street, he gets taken out by Gladiator. So right now, three on three, early exchange of gunfire going on. Sphinx is still top B sniping, uh, checking the mid courtyard and also checking the B connector. Doesn't see anything, but right now, PHG is still in spawn. I mean, they're just in spawn, in the cave. Gladiator is just by the steps, by the spawn, watching flank. Grim in the cave, and uh, right now, Twisted going top A, so... Once again, really slow round. First couple of seconds was hectic, but right now, things have slowed down considerably, Anger. Yeah, I was wondering if, if PHG there was a little confused on exactly what they wanted to do there, how they wanted to deploy out, because, again, they're just in spawn a little too long there, and usually you can see them pushing really uh, A heavy, or if they wanted to make that move for uh, middle area or mid streets, they were real aggressive, but, again, they were just really hesitant on this particular round. Uh, for this particular push. So right now we have Twista and, and Gladiator pretty much hanging out in Garage along with Grimster. So Grim uh, is going to be the uh, scope again and as pretty much as he's done this whole game. So right now Gladiator and Grim hanging out moving uh, forward here They're on mid streets and Gladiator pushing into uh, A site and right now the man 
uh, has seen him, so they know where they're at, and he has backup here from BT. It looks like the man is actually going to make a flank move here, so we're going to take a look at that possibly here, Starbuck, as he's moving around, and Twista is going to be the first victim if uh, the man can swoop around here really quick. Maybe, but Twista does take out some, and there it is right now. He is flank, and Grimsta gets the man, though. Nice shot there. Seeing the oh. flank right now, the only player left is Space. He gets a shot on Twista. Wow, but Bomb is down. Gladiator is right by the Bomb, and Griffs is right by the A opening. So I'm going to go follow Sphinx here, as he does have the scope. And he gets totally flashed. Ooh. I mean, that flash was in his freaking mouth. <laughs> and right now, he's going <laughs> to pull out the Gold Deagle. He doesn't know what the hell's going on. He got shot by Gladiator. Nice try there. Should have put your anti-flash goggles on, but didn't happen. So another round goes to PHG. Yeah, you should have moved in there behind the dumpsters and hopefully try to get a peek shot. Maybe somebody Gladiator was going to make a mistake, yeah. but a seasoned veteran, the Gladiator is, uh, he's not going to make that type of mistake. And uh, right now it's 10 to 7 right now in the favor of Powerhouse. We're going to head on over to Powerhouse Gaming's War Room. Let's head there now. Oh, he's I'm going to Walmart. Middle. Do you want to get a Walmart? I don't know. Uh, the middle. Uh, you know, they're, they're they're push, they push left kitchen. They may be flanking kitchen. I'm looking at kitchen, I don't see him. I heard people run out down, so those are you guys. Okay. Sean, I'm coming for you. He's got palm tree. Yeah, one by kitchen palm tree. Sean, who'd you kill? I got a guy in B. I might be able to get this palm tree guy, just give me some time. I'm gonna wait for him to peek me. Is mid market clear? Or yeah, I'm in mid market. I'm sure. Okay, good. Should I, I'm leaving top uh, kitchen. Sean, hold up. I'm gonna watch you for baby. Oh, he's got scopes. What the fuck? This guy's back B. Remember what he's behind the penis. It's nothing to penis. Mm. Where's he who's he shooting at? Alright. That's penis. I'm reloading one sec, I'll come with you. I'm coming through the street. Alright. Okay. I could flash the good. site for us, Sean. TM somewhere here. Alright. I'm at the back, back, I'm back, back, back fucking water. Fountain. Oh, top water fountain, water fountain. Okay, okay, okay. Fuck. Fucking Fuck. jump down. Guys. Doesn't matter. We should That's not right. have lost that. Hey, listen. Hey, Apostle, rush A with all right, back to live action here. Ten to eight now as Gladiator gets lit up like a light bulb there with that set nade uh, behind the dumpsters here. And again, in case you're just joining us, uh, we do have Dark here, uh, the uh, COD4 admin for Future Tech Gaming League. And again, uh, when is the uh, deadline date to get your team uh, ready and set for the uh, league? And when does the league officially start for those people that just joined us? Uh, the official uh, sign-up day is closing is uh, March 15th. The uh, league opens up on the Wednesday, March 19th. Awesome. All right, also, again, one of our media partners, and thank you, Water, for that. And you can head on over to www.leaktube.com. And I know, know you guys know what it is, but in case you don't know, it is you can get all your frag videos up on that site, and uh, we'll take a look at them. And I've seen a couple, so we're trying to talk to the uh, owners of those videos and possibly uh, get those on as a little small commercial snippet or something of that nature. So right now, again, Frag D uh, trying to inch a little bit closer. Closer here, 10 to 9 right now. As I'm looking at Frag D, they really haven't switched anything up. We have Sphinx and the man hanging out going past B site while CME, BT, and A Rock are hidden to A. Smoke being deployed around the statue right now. And for Powerhouse Gaming Starbuck, uh, anything changed? Uh, they look uh, kind of hesitant here. Yeah, they're very, very hesitant. Um, just holding out by the cave right now, still by the A opening, not going into A. And there it is, the man gets Apostle. The lonely flanker is down now, so B flank is open, and we've got. Uh, Grim trying to compensate now, scoping the flank. Gladiator into CM and uh, CME there, and then we've got Improv top A right now. He's going to try to pick somebody at A, and he really, I think, should do an A push right now. It's just something hard, something out of the blue, as Improv does get the nice uh, pineapple there into uh, BT. So right now, Sphinx does have the scope. He's right by the B. Uh, Palm trees looking at the B flank, but no one's really going B flank. Uh, like I said, Grim was watching it, but he actually pushed up to A now. So we'll recap here. It's four on three, sit in favor for PHG. 
up right now for FD is uh, Sphinx, TM, and A Rock, and for PhD is Gladiator, Grimsta, TT, and Improv. So right now, uh, PhD is moving into A. I mean, I, I would like to say crawling into A. It's very, very slow. Um, they do have the smokes, though. So maybe they can get a little push here. What do you see on the defensive side, Anger? Right now, I'm looking at Gladiator as he's pushing into A site right now, possibly. Uh, it's about 26 seconds here to get something done here. And I'm also looking at Grim as they're all around the A site. So they they pretty much stacked A right now. Grim taking out A Rock there with a nice 74 shot. So right now, it's going to be the man and Sphinx going up against Grim Improv. And that will be it's going to be 2v2 right now as a little bit of the fighting is taking place in the mid streets area here. A little bit over 49 seconds here. And Improv takes out Sphinx there, so nice job there. So right now, the man all by himself, and he gets taken out there by Improv with the F-16. So 11 to 9 here, uh, PhD in the lead. So we're going to head on over to Frag Dominance event. Let's ha head over there now. Again, colorful is the magic word. Fucking noob. So P match tomorrow, so like, figure something out. Like, switch it up, be creative. But hopefully, hopefully don't go B, period. Robert playing tomorrow, right? Don't go B, period. Like all our shit we have is bumps and row. Oh, yes. Nice time. Fucking idiot. Why would you pick the same spot? He's going, he's pushing B. It's so annoying. Front A, what the fuck? He's dead. I can't see him! He's using an RPD! Can you get B? Yeah, I got B. Okay. He's at B and one yes. Alright, tell me if you know the other one's there and I'll start with A. Top B, top B. Mm, end at A, cafe. Shit, sorry. Oh, fuck. Nice shot. <laughs> wow. Nice nade there by Grim there. <laughs> he cooked that puppy just at the right time and threw it there. Nice cook off there. Yeah, Grim there. Uh, uh, first he flashed him, and then he threw a nade. So, I mean, his ears were ringing, his eyes were bleeding, and then his nade just tore him apart. So, good job there by Grim. Uh, right now. There it is, Fragdy right now do go into a bomb site. Uh, so right now they're gonna try to cross here to get into position as Grimster does get the nice scope into TM and there it is, the man into improv. Nice nade. Four on four sit right now, Apostle. Still with that RPD in B trying to hold down the flank. Uh, and Spinks, of course, with the sniper. I mean, you know, these two teams, Anger got some awesome names, uh, some really good players. I I just love watching them. I'll see what they do. Swing with the sniper. Apostle with whatever the hell he has right now. RPD, but, you know, just some good competition here. Yeah, Frag D is getting into the, the proper places where they need to be very quick, quickly here. And I'm very surprised that PHG is taking a little long. But, again, it's probably more more their strat than anything because they're really taking their time here as Apostle uh, does a nice job taking out the man there off the uh, flower shop so uh, PSG very patient but then again they are they are being really hesitant compared to the uh, first round as they were on offense they were just really ultra aggressive so right now they're making their way into the A site right now and in, in hopes to get this plant down as Gladiator makes his way to the bomb site as Speaks try to take a shot there Ooh, BT taking out Gladiator there with a nice 74 shot and uh, Speaks on top B right now as he's overlooking that area so right now we have BT speaks going up against Apostle and Twister here and uh, we have BT hanging out around the uh, the water fountain right now as I'm looking over at Spinks still hanging out at top B and we have Twister at bottom B so that's gonna be very interesting to see here Spinks and Twister possibly a 1v1 matchup here 
Oh my freaking god. Sphinxter gets another shot of amazing. I don't know if, if, if I don't know who uh, Limey was following there, but Sphinx just got two guys that were flanking him. Every time he looked behind him, there was a guy and he shot him, no scoped. So I just want to point that out. Freaking amazing by Sphinx there. So I'm going to go follow him right now and see what this kid does so I can, you know, teach my team whatever he's doing because it's just bloody amazing. So right now, um, Sphinx is going to be scoping here in the A uh, hall, and there is the man with the double nades, and Sphinx does get taken out from Improv MP5, uh, about 200 yards away there. As CME does take out Gladiator, four on one now, the man into Improv. The lone man is going to be grim once again in the cafe. He's going to be assaulted here by four personnel, <laughs> three personnel. He gets a nade, but there he is. He's flashed once again. He's Ooh. eaten it, and he gets knifed. <laughs> and that's it right there. 11 to 12 in favor for PHG. Yeah, Frag D inching a little bit closer here. So let's head on over to Powerhouse's war room here as we head into the, uh, well, possibly the tie-in around here, and we could possibly go into overtime. So let's head there now to Powerhouse Gaming. I, I, hate it. You all. I hate you, Caesar. That's final. Just late and when aggressive. they smoke it. But that was the first time I've ever a, done uh, that. TM naded it randomly. It's kind of fishy. I know. I got right, one push it one up went to the back. Run up a man. Run up a man. One went to the one went to the casket. I can probably pick him if you give me a second. Get out of here, Glad. So, no, this is my spot. Man. But one's gonna be peeking <laughs> from B at us, Grim. Why? He knows you're here? Yeah, because I killed somebody rushing up. So. Alright. I got him. I got B guy. I got B guy. I got okay. sniper. There's Two a guy in the back garage, left, please. Caesar. Hold on. Let me try and pick this guy. Okay, can you need him? Oh my god. Oh, yo. Where is he? He fucking lit me. I know there's a guy back there. I'm fucking chucking it. Okay. Fucking lag. Why is a clump on him? So He's probably behind the site. He's behind. He's he? behind the wall on the site. He's behind the wall on the site. I'll flash him. Oh, you got him. You got him. We got this. I'm a planet. I'm a planet. I'm a planet. Nice job. Um... All right, that. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. 13 to 11. Powerhouse Gaming uh, wins this exhibition match here. Great matchup, and I'm going to try to get Powerhouse in here for an interview here as everything has just ended, and Starbuck, very entertaining. Oh, immensely anger. A uh, really good match there. You know, strat wise, it was nothing new, but shot wise, it was really fun to watch. Uh, you know, my Frappuccino of the match must go to Sphinx with those freaking sniper shots. Just amazing, you know. Uh, good job there. Um, but PHG ultimately, you know, coming out on top. So good job to both teams. Yeah. Uh, as for the god of the match, I'm going to have to put my pick on Apostle. Uh, very quiet in his uh, in this game. But he was just doing a lot of work there. Had a nice KDR and just uh, just being an all-around beast uh, and giving uh, Fragdiv some ha uh, some troubles there. Yeah, would you, I, you I pick agree on with this you. Starbuck? I would pick Sphinx. Um, you know, he he got some good uh, good shots and good scopes in. And then, like I said, that I think it was the second to last round when I was specking him. He won 80s, you know, kills the guy, turns back around. Ten seconds later, he won 80s, kills the guy, no scope, in about ten seconds, two no scopes. Amazing. So, right there, that is my Frappuccino Lada, Enchilada of the match to Sphinx. Wow, what are you, Taco Bell? Jeez. All right. Taco Lime Bell Starbucks. Key it up, our gods of the match. <laughs> Our gods of the match will, will be Apostle from Powerhouse Gaming and in a losing effort, Spinks from Frag Domination. All right, right now we're going to bring in Grim and hopefully he can bring in Apostle here because I really don't care to talk to Grim, but since he's in here, hello Grim, how you doing? <laughs> oh, thanks for making me feel nice and warm. I'm doing well. No, it's all good. Congratulations. Uh, even though it was an exhibition match, it looks like you guys took it uh, pretty serious. I mean, it was pretty close all the way through there. Uh, How did you guys feel about uh, the match overall? I mean, 
was it something you took really, really super serious? Because I know you guys being cast that people were watching. Um, you know, with the uh, Lynn a couple days away, we definitely uh, wanted to play it as if it was finals at the tournament. So, uh, yeah, we were trying to play as best we could, you know, um, trying to have fun at the same time. But, yes, trying to make it like LAN uh, environment. Now, one of the questions that I have for you is how did it come across? How did you pick up Gladiator and how did that work out? How, how did it all transpire? Um, basically, wanted to pick up a solid fifth. I felt that, um, you know, you're only as good as your weakest link. So, so I put a, a forum, forum post on Cal and uh, asked around, spammed a f few bunch, and uh, he came to me right away saying he wanted to get uh, active and start competing um, at the higher level. So after seeing him play against us and knowing his past history of being uh, really dominant in CRD2, in my opinion, he was a top five player in the whole game. Um, I knew that he'd be a good fit for us. And how is that working out? Has he been fitting in pretty well there? Or I know he was uh, doing some nice things in this match, but overall, I mean, chemistry-wise and, and whatnot, how has he done? Um, so far, it's only been a week or so since we got him. Um, he fits in great, great, great sense of humor, which is definitely something we need in our uh, team since it's a quality uh, that we all have. He's uh, outgoing. He loves to scrim, practice, and be the best. So um fits perfectly in the group. Awesome. All right, again, we'd like to welcome in our god of the match here, Apostle. Hello, Apostle. How you doing? Hey, what's going on, guys? Yeah, it seems like uh, the last time we cast you guys, it seems like I always bring you in. You're always beasting it up here for PHG. And I remember when you uh, made that switch over uh, to Powerhouse and you made that nice transition, you pretty much fit in, too. Uh, again, congratulations on the match tonight, even though, again, it was an exhibition. Uh, how'd you feel about this uh, match? you feel real good playing it? Yeah, always good to win, especially the grudge match, apparently. No doubt. Now, one of the things I, I know in, in other leagues, you're you're struggling in one league, and in another league, you're doing very, very well. Um, what is what is going on with PHG? And is it just maybe you guys are not catching the breaks? Uh, you know, what is it right now with one league compared to the other? The way you guys are playing, kind of inconsistent. What's going on there? Uh, you want me to answer that, or do you want Grim to? Either or. Doesn't matter. Or both. You answer, buddy. Well. Uh, we did good in the beginning, like the first week. We had a tough round against Phoenix, but we did good against Nexus. And then Pipeline came around, and we really weren't, uh, we really didn't strat it as hard. And we didn't think we really needed to, but uh, apparently that showed that we do. And then Vacant came around, and uh, we just got unlucky. A couple rounds here and there. 1410 to Pandemic, and 1311 to Doctors isn't bad, or, well, EG. So, I don't know, just some unlucky rounds here and there on vacant, but pipelines definitely what we got to work on. All right. Well, uh, Limey, do you have any uh, questions or anything for Grim or Apostle here before we let them go? Uh, no, just a great match. It was fun to watch. Starbuck, Water, do you have anything? Go ahead, Connor. Like I said, Apostle, your new favorite player. He's near RPD. <laughs> no, no wow, problem, why don't, man. Just, why don't you just bobble some more yeah, water? Yeah, you know, uh, maybe I will. Maybe I will, Anger. Maybe I will. <laughs> don't forget the reach around. All right, we're going to let these two gentlemen go. But before we do, Apostle and Grim, any last shout-outs? Any, anything for the uh, masses out there in Cyber World? Oh, oh you yeah, shout-outs. Sorry. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, just appreciate all the support that we've gotten from the community, um, and of course sponsors and stuff like that, but uh, no one individual, so unless uh, Sean has anyone to thank, other than me for teaching him everything he knows. Not wow. Caesar, that's it. <laughs> Alright, well... <laughs> 
we look forward to seeing you at Nerveland. So uh, get ready for that. We'll make sure we'll take a look at you guys there. I'm sure you guys will do well there. And uh, again, we. Thank you for coming by. And again, that was the God of the Match Apostle, along with the owner, Grim, owner slash manager slash everything else. So thank you, guys. And, and Connor, what do you have for shout-outs? I'm sure you have a ton. Go for it. Uh, not as many as you think. Uh, I have a shout here from uh, Clutch Twitch. Shout-out to Sharpie. I raped your mom. I have another shout here from uh, <laughs> MTCOD4 Watermelon. Or watermelons. Uh, shout out to Moving Target for picking up Team Unheard of as their COD4 division. I have one here from a player named Tiddlywink on IRC. That's that's a good name. Uh, shout out to my boy Chronic and Nevermind. I have another one here from uh, Wire Hosting uh, Zach. Uh, there's your plug, dude. Pound Wire Hosting cheap affordable game t template. I have a shout here from uh, FGL Mike. Shout out to you, Dark. He says you're gay. And uh, I have a shout out here from uh, Heat. Shout out to the COD4 community. Uh, uh, donate to the HNANCF uh, Heat Needs a New Computer Fund. And you can reach him at uh, Pound Cheat Detectives, uh, where cheaters are thoroughly investigated. And if proven guilty, banned from every game channel known to man. They're also meat spammed. Uh, also to Nosco, I'd br I'll burn your house down. And to Juvie, I'd rather get some head. And to Muse, I hate you, Dynafire. Get cut or something. And that's it for shoutouts. Wow. I actually want People to say are really one last thing. Yeah, go ahead, Grim. We appreciate um, FGL setting it setting this uh, exhibition up and we uh, are anxious to participate in all their leagues and everything that uh, they're doing for the community. Awesome. Now everybody just really expressing themselves tonight, uh, Water. I, I can't believe it, man. People dying in fires and crap like that. Jeez. Not a lot of it's love being spread around before world. Nerveland. Yeah, well, I have a couple shout-outs real quick here. I got one from Convict. Uh, uh, shout-out to my power... Uh, Powerhouser Apostle, and a shout out to Sasha to get off the that ganja and go help Merzo build his own HPZ. That is from Convict. I have one here. Okay, no. Oh, I hate to even look at this one because I know it's going to be something about lawn, but my man Hipshot from DNO. Shout out to Starbuck because he deserves it after running a quarter mile today and almost <laughs> having heart failure. Get in shape, Starbuck, you fatty. Ouch. Wow. It was like Hipshot really knows how to kick people in the balls. My goodness. He's just, he's just mad because he can't run because he lives in freaking uh, Newfoundland and it's negative <laughs> 38 degrees outside. <laughs> yeah. All right. You well, can run around the fire. That is, <laughs> that is pretty much it. Again, I want to thank uh, Powerhouse Gaming and also Frag Dominate, uh, Dominant there uh, for uh, doing this match here again for Future Tech Gaming League and X. Exhibition match on MP Strike. Powerhouse gets the win here again. Exhibition, but nonetheless, it is a win. Hopefully, uh, they can get this momentum and carry it into the other leagues uh, later this week and possibly into Nerveland. And again, uh, uh, Dark, let the people know how they can get a hold of your league here before we put this baby to bed. Uh, you can get a hold of us at uh, www.fgleague.com. Uh, pound. Again, search pound FG League, and uh, we're holding a uh, IRC meeting for anyone that's interested in COD4, and the pound FG League dot COD4 channel for anyone that has questions. Awesome, awesome, and in your league will be Wednesday nights, correct? Yes, sir. They will be. Awesome, 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 awesome. All right, for myself, anger, uh, my man, Starbuck, water. And, uh, of course, Limey, the video man himself, the video god. I would like to say good night. And, again, uh, don't forget to head on over to Future Tech Gaming League and uh, join their leagues there. Get your team uh, up and running on that as uh, uh, you're going to be uh, seeing some good things out of them, I'm sure. They're doing some great things for the community. And until next time, bon voyage. Erev, applied directly to the forehead. Erev, applied directly to the forehead. Erev is not responsible for any monitor to head related injuries due at your own risk.